He'll be here any minute. And just running late, I'm sure. Right? We'll wait. You pumped about this? I am definitely pumped. You pumped about this? I am definitely pumped. All right, the last time we ate some chips from Mexico, we found literally a foreign object in the bag. Oh, I can smell that from here. Is that a good thing? First smell, then look at those. Those look rough. Those look like the elephant man's toes. <laughs> consistent with the way they look. Tastes kind of like the way gasoline smells. I wish they tasted that good. Um. Guess I gotta go get some fresh ones. Be right back with a close-up. Time for a voiceover. Two nine packs of pretzel chicken fries for six eighteen is not a bad price. At least I don't think so. I've been around chicken fries since before they went on sale the very first time for Burger King. I had them at a test kitchen in Tyson's. Um, the place I worked at, Tyson was a chicken plant of sorts. They didn't have actual live chickens there. They just took the chicken that was already dead and turned it into things. Among those things, chicken fries. They had a test kitchen in there to go ahead and try out the things they made. I got to see the chicken fries made firsthand, and then I got to try them. Surprisingly, the ingredients are chicken breast, chicken skin, water, and then I guess you would call it seasonings or chemicals to pump it up. But it's surprising how much chicken breast is in chicken fries. They should promote that more because to my mind, I would have just thought it was garbage chicken that they formed into a patty. And I've always wondered why they don't just take that chicken and find a way to strip it, keep it whole, keep its consistency, and then turn that into a chicken fry. Because when you make it in the chicken paste, people's mind goes like crazy places that it may not even be chicken. Let me tell you folks, it's chicken and it's all good. Now just briefly, let's talk about the breading. Look at that pretzel breading. It is pretty amazing. I would say it's by far my favorite breading on any chicken fry Burger King has ever done. Now, one last thing before we get to the actual review itself. Starting tomorrow, we're going to do a contest. Not really a contest, just something we're gonna do every day. I'm gonna pick one comment off of the last video and I'm gonna feature it. I'm gonna read it out loud, probably even uh, have a comment specifically for you. So please, leave us a comment that doesn't suck, give us something to work with, and you too could be featured on an upcoming video. Last but not least, good friend of the show, Lee. He makes art out of old records. In this case, he carved our logo into one. I'm gonna put a link to his seldom used YouTube channel down below if you'd like to get a hold of him and buy your own record. That may have been one of the most epic close-ups ever to grace this channel. What can I say? <sighs> Let's just get to it. 
pretzel fries. Big deal, I guess. Um, World-renowned stockholder in Burger King and well-known schmoozer of board members and the president of BK, Ian K. Get it? You think there's some kind of connection? Ian K. BK. Had this first. World exclusive. Much like every other Burger King exclusive he has. And yet, he denies any links. He just says it's always a coincidence. Let's break into one of these. Let's get a bite first. As you may have seen there, three bites, hell, I'm doing three sticks. As you may have seen there, three bites, hell, I'm doing three fries. Fry two. The third fry, of course, gets saved for something very special. Something near and dear to my heart. In the top three items on the entire Burger King menu, hmm, the zesty sauce. What will the zesty sauce, what will the zesty sauce do for the chicken fries? Bite one. We all have our heroes, but my personal hero is the inventor of the Burger King Zesty Sauce, who never seems to get the credit he deserves. There's nothing on the menu for Burger King that this won't improve. Try it on their classic chicken sandwich, the lengthy bun one. The only thing those lengthy buns are good for. Pour that on there and tell them to hold the mayonnaise. You'll see a vast improvement in that sandwich. But now let's get to this grade because, you know, it's summer. you got things to do. There's swimming pools to swim in, I don't know lawns to mow. What is it you kids are doing nowadays in like 2018? I don't know. I never went outside as a youth. I lived in a bubble. I kind of still do. Not the same bubble because after that long it would stink. You, every once in a while you got to get a new bubble. When I pulled up this morning on the first day of the new item, the crispy pretzel chicken fries from Burger King at approximately, at approximately 11 a.m. Central, I spoke into the speaker and I asked for my soda. I then said, may I have two large orders? <clears throat> I then said, may I have two orders of the crispy pretzel chicken fries? Kind of like Ian K with no camera. The voice on the other side came through clear and strong and let me know where this product stands with the employees of Burger King when she said, huh? What? So I thought maybe there was an error with the speaker. I said, the crispy pretzel chicken fries, please. What? Silence. Silence for about 45 seconds to the point that I thought, ain't getting these today. Then she came back on with a total and acted like it, you know, never happened. It's good to see that new products are always a priority at Burger King. Now then, onto that grade. This is gonna surprise some people. Because occasionally I'm critical of Burger King, but this is enough of a departure. I've griped long and hard about the chicken fries all tasting the same. You can definitely tell the difference. I give these a 93. 93, folks. But wait, there's more. Zesty sauce. 94.5. Oh yeah. It's rare I hype things like, I don't know. It's rare I hype things like live streams too far in advance, but in this case, I'm gonna make an exception. June 24th, I'm gonna do something different, different than we've ever done on the channel. I think it'll be something to see. I'll have more details on time. It's gonna be late, it'll be evening, after 8 p.m. Central. Um, people involved, more details on that, but yeah, coming. Live stream, Sunday the 24th. Look for it. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Mr. Happy 0121. Until next time, stay vigilant. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll be back. Sometime.